What's up guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at a really cool and um, it's an easy way to play through a, a major pentatonic scale and I've been thinking a lot about it the past couple of weeks and I'm starting to think that this might actually be the best way to learn and you know kind of play the scale. Now I know that might be kind of a crazy thing to say because first of all what does best even mean really and um, there would always be situations and reasons why you would maybe want to use a different way instead but what I'm really talking about is being easy to learn, easy to play, it covers a very large range of notes. It has three octaves in there. It's very easy to visualize on the neck and that can also help us keep track of where we are in the scale. So without any more talking, let's try it out and then let me know what you guys think. Do you think this is the best way to play the scale? Okay, before we get going, make sure to hit subscribe and if you want me to make more of this type of video, make sure to hit like and let me know. Now just a quick minute of review to make sure we kind of get everybody on the same page. Um, when we say scale, basically a scale is just a series of, of uh, different notes that follow a specific pattern. And the scales that we're talking about today are called pentatonic scales because they have five different notes. And normally when people learn how to play the major pentatonic scale, they'll either, they'll first learn uh, this pattern. This is an A note. They'll learn to play the A minor pentatonic scale. This is what we would say is pattern one of the minor pentatonic scale. And backwards. So that was the A minor pentatonic, and usually when people want to play the A major pentatonic, they just take that same pattern and they slide it down so that their pinky is lined up on the A now, and they just go up the same exact shape. So that would be one way that people learn it, or the other real common way would be to play the, the next pattern up, which is this. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with those two patterns. They're super popular, they're used all the time, they're really good to know. But let's check out this other pattern and then kind of talk about uh, some of the benefits of playing like that. And while I play this pattern, I want you to notice that for now, I'm only gonna be using fingers one and finger three, and I'm always moving three notes on one string and two on the next. So that's our pattern, three and then two, three, two, three, two. <laughs> So we start off, we play the three notes on the sixth string, that's five, seven, slide a nine. Then I move down to the next string and we have our two notes, seven and nine. So that's the pattern, three and then two. And then you move to the next string, do the same thing. Only this time, you know, on starting on the fourth string, you have seven, nine, eleven. We move to the third string, that's nine and then eleven move down to the second string, the B string, and I have to slide up one fret, we call that the B string shift. Every time we switch over to the B string, we shift everything up one fret, and we play the same pattern again, three notes and then two. That was 10, 12, 14 on the second string, and then I move to the first string and play 12 and 14. And then you do the same thing going backwards, you play two notes and then three two notes, and then three. Now, if this is a new pattern for you, it would probably take a little bit of practice, but as far as patterns go, it's actually super comfortable and easy to play. And because we're only using finger one and three, your pinky would be free to uh, play licks like this if you want. And this pattern is also really cool because it moves across three different octaves, so you have a really big range but it looks the exact same in all three octaves. It's always three and then two. And we move to the next octave, three and two. And because the pattern looks the exact same in all the octaves, it makes it much easier to keep track of which note you're playing in the scale. All right, good job, guys. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Seriously, I want to know what you guys think about this scale pattern. I also just wanted to mention that I've started to teach on Skype now, so if, uh, if you have questions about this or if you want a little help with something else, um, there's a link down below. You can get a hold of me about that. And um, yeah, again, follow me on social media. Thanks for liking and sharing this video, and I'll just see you guys next time.